Hi, my name is Dr. Richmond Lowe and I'm the fish vet. Today I've been called out to investigate reasons for mysterious deaths every time an owner adds fish to his tank. So he's got an African cichlid tank here in the background and the resident fish seem to be doing okay but every time he adds new fish to the tank they start dying within 12 hours and it tends to affect the adult or the larger fish uh, however some of the smaller fish and juveniles he adds also die okay so if we come closer and have a quick look at this little guy here he's actually cowering in the corner looking quite lethargic so what we're going to do is we're going to do some water quality testing we're not going to skip any uh, step in our investigation process because it's very important that even simple things that uh, such as water quality that we're at least able to exclude as possible reasons for fish health issues. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some water samples and we're going to do testing for ammonia and nitrite in particular uh, and also your regular things such as water temperature um, and also salts and pH. Alright, so I'm just going to grab my water sampling gear and we'll go in and get our samples. Our water samples to do this, we just basically um, put our hand in, and what I'm noticing is that I just put my hand in, it feels quite warm. So, we're going to test the water temperature in a second, but um, right now we're just going to test the uh, regular water parameters. Now, testing the water parameters, I can find that the ammonia and nitrite are fine, so that's not the cause of fish illness and the pH sitting at 7 to 7.5 which is quite low for an African cichlid tank so what the owner has to do is to add maybe 50 grams each day until he can get his pH up to around 8 to 8.2 um, this is a 1000 litre tank so we're adding 50 grams per 1000 litres uh, one day at a time because we don't want to increase the pH uh, too rapidly because that will cause stress to the fish. So now we're just going to take the water temperature because um, it's a routine thing we do anyway um, but because we especially felt that the water was quite warm. Hmm. Well the water temperature here is showing that it's 34.6 degrees, that's very warm. Uh, so I've taken temperatures from different parts of the tank uh, with the infrared uh, thermometer and it's showing that it's very high. And if we have a look and check the actual gauge of the thermometer that's in the tank, it's actually showing 25.6. So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the accuracy of the thermometer that's in the tank at the moment. Okay, all right, so we just got a glass of water and just gonna add some ice to it. Just wait a while uh, for the temperature to sort of equalize between the liquid and the solid ice. And yeah, and then after that, we just check the thermometer and it should be reading between, as I said before, it's between zero to four degrees Celsius. Thermometer, I think it's reading from um, minus seven degrees Celsius. This thermometer is obviously faulty and the reading is out by approximately 10 degrees Celsius. We're going to decrease the temperature that was set, the, um, set with the heaters. Uh, we inspected the heater was the thermostat was actually set to 34 degrees and the reason for that is that the owner was thinking there's something wrong with the heaters. Maybe it's uh, the high water circulation is not bringing the water temperature up because the thermometer reading was at 24 degrees and every time he increased the temperature, uh, the therm thermostat on the heater by one degree Celsius, the thermometer gauge would just measure an increment of maybe only 0.1 degrees Celsius. So uh, this is why he kept on sort of turning the dial up to uh, try and get the water temperature up to uh, what normal people normally keep these guys at about 27 to 28. Because this temperature increased slowly over time, the resident fish were able to adapt to it. But even so, they're still struggling 
because it's at the limits of their tolerance range. However, whenever the owner added new fish to the tank, those new fish started dying because the rapid temperature increase didn't give them enough time to adapt. So what we're going to do next is to try to reduce the water temperature. We're going to uh, flush out some of the warm water that's in there and replace it with cool water. Uh, we're going to drain the water down to this mark here that I've set for the with the magnets and then refill it with cool uh, tap water uh, and we'll also add dechlorinated to it. Now I'm just going to turn down the temperature dial on the heater and just a word of warnings for safety reasons make sure you turn it off and unplug it from the wall and allow the heater to cool down before handling it. Now we've finished doing our water changes. The temperature of the tank feels a little bit cooler. It's sitting at 31 degrees now, 31 degrees Celsius. Um, so we'll let that sort of gradually decrease over time. We're going to ask the owner to remove all the um, glass covers so that, that we can increase the evaporative cooling and that will bring the temperature down a little bit quickly. Uh, a little bit more quickly uh, without causing them the temperature shock. Next, we, as we said, we're going to add some vitamin C. So this is 10 grams of vitamin C in here. I'm just going to drizzle that over the tank. Uh, it's got a big water uh, flow. So basically, we'll just drizzle that slowly, the powder. And it will, because it's very water soluble, um, it's okay to just drop it in slowly like this. Maybe uh, is it okay to come close up in here? You see the grains dissolve. As we get the water temperature down towards their optimal range, the fish will become more active and have improved appetite and growth. So that's all from me. Thank you for watching. But before I go, just like to uh, let you know that we've got a new Facebook fan page and the link is given in the, uh, in the description below and have a fantastic week.